Right, hi. I'm one of the girls who shares this YouTube account with my mate. And, um, it has, like, well, basically, me and my friend both love Doctor Who. But we love it in different ways. My friend loves it for the programme, and the funny dialogue, and the action, and the rudeness occasionally. And I love it for all those reasons, but also, lately, I've loved it because I really badly fancy Matt Smith. Now, not I wouldn't say really, really badly, then my friends might say differently. I kind of just think he's really cute and stuff, and do fancy him a bit. And everybody keeps saying, OMG, he is so stupid and pathetic, and he acts really stupid on Doctor Who. And I'm just saying, like, if you're acting a character, then you are acting a character. You're not acting yourself. And they judge who he actually is on how he acts in Doctor Who. His character of the Doctor is different from how he actually is, most probably, because he is not a time traveller. So, I mean, seriously, it's stupid. And it annoys me if people go, oh my gosh, he was wearing a fez, and I, oh, I bet he goes around wearing a fez. That is stupid. Why wouldn't an actor, a really good actor, go around wearing a fez if he was not being a character? It would be demented. And people are really horrible. And I'm just like, seriously, he's an amazing actor, he got an amazing part, and nobody had a go at David Tennant. So why are you having a go at Matt Smith, is my, is my point. And the thing about the bow tie as well, again, that's costume. You wear what you're told to wear when you get a character role. And if you're getting a role that's going to make you really famous, you'll wear, you wear anything for it. So it really does not reflect the personality or dress sense of that person. And I happen to know he has a really cool dress sense, so it's and it really just bugs me when people go, oh, he's, he wears a bow tie, like he wears one in real life every day, like he wears a manky old suit. It's just costume, people. Costume. And it annoys me when people are like, oh, how can you fancy him? He looks like Frankenstein's monster. In brackets, Mazza. But I'm only really saying this because I'm really really annoyed about it. And they say, oh, he's so ugly, he's so ugly. Well, really, he's not actually ugly. I mean, he may look, <laughs> well, the suit doesn't do anything for him with a little bow tie, but he's not ugly. And there are plenty of people who are ugly, and he is not ugly. I mean, he may not be really fit, or really amazing, like, oh, like Justin Bieber or whoever, not that sort of fit, but he is, to, like, if you fancy somebody, you fancy somebody generally. You don't just fancy them because they look cool. That might be part of it, but not necessarily the whole thing. And people are like, how can you fancy him? He's really ugly. And I'm like, well, maybe I fancy him for different reasons. Or maybe I fancy him because I think that he's nice looking, even if you don't. And it just bugs me. And I, I know I'm kind of ranting on, and you've probably stopped watching this video by now, but I just, like, I haven't even planned anything. I'm just sort of talking straight on. And I just kind of wanted to make my point that Matt Smith is not an idiot. He's not... His costume doesn't reflect his dress sense. His character doesn't necessarily reflect his actual personality. And he's not... He's not really stupid or silly normally, necessarily, is he? And nobody I know has met him, so they just, they're just judging from the Doctor. The Doctor is a 900-year-old time traveller from Gallifrey. If you judge the actor by that... That's just completely mental. And I'm just trying to prove my point here. So if you're still watching, thanks, because that means you've heard my point and it's good to get it off my chest. But basically, seriously, you can't judge an actor by the character they play, especially if that character is really stupid or silly or funny, because that doesn't necessarily mean they are. Sometimes the character's nice and the actor's not, and vice versa. But seriously, it's just annoying. So... Yeah, that goes with any celebrity, really. I'm just mentioning Matt Smith because I really like Matt Smith, so yeah. But, um, thanks for watching. Um, take it into consideration if you can be bothered. Because I have. Because I obviously have no social life. Says some, I do. But, you know. Alright, bye!